from the International Telecommunication Union headquarter in Geneva, we are celebrating the World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. To help us in the celebration today, we have Mr. Frederick Asomano, head of the Market Regulation Unit from the Ghana Telecom Regulatory Authority. Welcome, Frederick. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. So, Frederick, you have been active in ITU uh, for the past seven years, as I understand. Yes. Sir. Could you please tell us uh, some of your experience in uh, international standards development and how the bridging the standardization gap might have helped in achieving your goals in the ITU? Thank you very much. I think, uh, first and foremost, I'm privileged to have these long years of of participating at the ITU Study Group 3 due to the support I have from my administration back home in Ghana. It has been very excellent and very, um, um, I must say, a very good platform for learning because hitherto I had difficult probably in appreciating diplomacy in, in, in making cases, but over the years, I find myself in learning from various um, countries and it has shaped my thinking and you could attest to the fact that my participation have contributed immensely over the last years to, to ITU study group three issues. What are some of the topics of interest to you personally and in terms of that you're driving in, in, the, in the work of ITU? Thank you very much. I mean, we've, we've championed a lot of, uh, of, of questions especially in the area of MFX, mobile financial services, spectrum sharing, um, tariffs issues. And just recently, we had three of our work items being sent to technical approval process for recommendation process. And, and we have been very instrumental in driving that. Yeah. So would you, uh, would you summarize perhaps the success factors in terms of uh, the participation in ITU is, you know, the uh, having the support from your administration is one element. And you mentioned you've been here since 2012, so there is a continuity sure. in your participation, at least over the last seven yeah. years. And then uh, uh, picking topics that are relevant to you and to, uh, to the region and to your, to your country. I think um, back home, and not only that, in African regions participation, we've tried to rely most on ITU standards, informing our policies and regulation issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in times that we find ourselves in debating on standards, we have always resolved to ITU standards because it's, it gives a platform for a lot of ideas and a lot of experiences from various use cases from various um, countries and regions. So you, you, get, you, you have the opportunity to get the best practice to, to ship your policy back home. And both the country administration and the regional body have always resort to, to standards of, uh, of ITU. Thank you very much and happy World Telecom and Information Society Day 2019. Thank you very much, thank you.